Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Matty J Play, some more PGA Tour 2K23. It's the beginning of the week. That means it's time for my TGC Tours Challenge Circuit preview, walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. This week, the Challenge Circuit is at the Springtime Bonanza event at Norterra by Grovey31. So let's take a look at the course. Norterra is a par 72. 8,365 yard course with four pins as always. Three tees, gold, white, and black. 6,882 yards to so 7,649 yards from the black tees. The default conditions are firm, firm, medium. Let's see what they've got you guys playing on in round one. So you play from the white tee, so the middle distance. You play a medium wind speeds from the north. So probably, you know, an eight to 10 mile per hour default so firm firm and fast because everything is default so that's good let's go springtime bonanza being welsh it is the lambing season in wales so Hello, we have a lot of sheep to PGA people Tour do mock us for it My name's but we embrace that so your opening hole, 460 yard par 4, nice wide fairway that narrows quite sharply. So try and aim for that narrowing in case it overruns, but I don't think it will into 7 mile per hour headwinds, which it doesn't. Might do if you have a longer, a longer driver than my 298. So 159, 20 foot up, 7 mile per hour wind, so that's at least adding another 10 yards to that so that's 170 we'll play the 173 we'll loft it up into it a little bit and our feet are sending this left our swing will send this left so hopefully i should sit around the pin Good shot not a bad effort 138 right, green speeds are your green speeds set. this week guys well this week in round one not a fan of the 138s, to be fair. Never know how much these are going to turn. So far, Usually so more than I'm expecting. Yeah, and that was good. more than I'm expecting. That is a terrible so opening we putt. Oh. Well, I said it just as I hit it as well. They usually turn more than I'm expecting. Because um, you play on the faster green speeds, they don't turn as much, really. Um, certainly in the opening period but on these slow ones, it just catches and turns. So, pretty bill opening hole, but... We did not, but it's a par five second. Gives you a chance to make it up and get an eagle here. This is a short par five, all downhill. We're going to loft this up. Massive wide open fairway. So you should be able to just send this straight down there. And it should just canter on down to the 350 yard mark, which it and does. We're around about, I'd say, 240, 245 to the pin. Going to hit the 215 here. Hope it doesn't roll out too far. That's a nice strike, but my feet took that way more right. Don't know how that's gone so far right. This is going to be awkward. Then this is going to kick off to the right here. I was aiming so far left there. Thought I'd allowed for that, but that okay, just shot right sand. off my feet. Get up and down from here. Didn't expect that. God, I'm not going to lie. Expected to be on the green there. My swing line looked good. I hit it perfect. So just a bit of a misread of our... A foot in. And this is not a fun bunker shot, but oh, oh we nearly oh, dunk it. Yeah, stuck it close from the nearly trap. dunk well it. Done. And these, if they up these green speeds, because they're running pretty fast yeah, at one thirty fours, so or one thirty eight. So if they up them, these greens could be slippery. But I right, one under for two. Gonna take that as I always say, guys, in the challenge circuit. If you do play in that in the TGC Tours challenge circuit. You want to aim between four to six under every nine holes. That will put you See, making cuts and being competitive at the, at the six under side. So 124. I have a 125 in my bag. Why it gives me a pitch when I've got this club, I don't know. I'm going to loft this up a bit with a bit of spin. Play the wind. And hopefully, was to die for. be all over this T. T pin. Great work on oh, it's early morning, guys. One, my head's not quite in the game just yet, but we have a birdie putt. Now, is this going to turn oh, as much going. as the last one? It does. Oh, yeah. 
second consecutive birdie 125 yard par three there guys just a wedge in for most people you should be making the most of that and after that hole you'll bring your score down to 200 for eight mile per hour winds as well if you want a guy just go eight squares right of the hole um probably between eight to ten squares right of the hole our backs on this one if you want a, a rough guide for that level wind it changes with the higher winds i don't tend to count squares but it does help some people well that tee shot looks like it'll do Roughly a mile per hour is a yard right, basically. On the fourth. And those squares are that light. When I say squares, I mean those ones on the green there, guys. So we'll hit the 112 into this. We'll hit it straight up. Maybe a touch of D-loft and a touch of spin. To make sure it gets there. I'm swinging so badly. So, so badly. The D-loft should have this kick forward, and the pin should have, the spin should have it sit down. Nice approach. Good and that's a nice shot, given how bad that swing Here's was. A five -footer. That was fantastic. Not playing our best, but you can score. So it's a scoreable course, guys. I expect people to go in low. Um, as I say, if you are playing a challenge circuit, don't worry about the guys at the top leaderboard. Most of them are platinum. They use the challenge circuit in another competition they all compete in. So obviously there's the world number one there, Stives, who's 13 under through 14. We've got a par four in um, front of you but on he does one. score similarly as well in platinum, to be fair. The boy is a machine. Okay. Here's our second shot on the no, fifth. Just the 94 in. I got a 97, so I'm going to use that. I like to use a full wedge where I can. I'll put a tiny bit of loft and tiny bit of spin on it. Just because of my feet in the wind. Aim a little bit more to the left. And that should sit around the pin. For the green. Which it does. And uh, that's another green in regulation. So far, so good. You're dealing with for a birdie. Looking good. Boom. And Other than that missed putt on the first, birdie. where we were just yeah. getting warmed up to the 138s after playing. I think the last course I was playing was 170s or 180s, so for that, you're down to four under par. not massive changes in how you approach the putts, but they do take more or less break, depending on the okay, speed and also the speed you're hitting them at as well, day. so it's not quite that simple. So this is a reachable par four, but not particularly easy to get at. So unless you've got like a 288 driver, mine's at 303. You don't want to be around here. This is just going to kill you. You know what? I'm going to go for it, guys. D-loft it a bit. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's going to be... I came to play that a little bit safe, so it took it... Oh, wow, that's taking a kick that I didn't expect. That is... <laughs> shot on this that took a horror... Well, we're in no man's land now, guys. This is... um. This is an impossible shot, so... Just need to try and get that up on the green. Don't think I could get it to stop, sadly. If you sink this putt. But we're up there. And we have a putt at it. So I think the right decision there probably goes is to just to take a shorter club and lay up short, I think. Given the way that kicked... Off that little down slope it took me that far right but we make the putt which is what you got to do on a short par four got to make the birdie by hook or by crook and we do and by that token i imagine the next par four we got coming up is going to be a super long one they normally follow drivable ones with long ones here we have a par four hole yes a 500 yard one not too bad though Let's play let's play some wide open fairways guys. You shouldn't be struggling to hit the fairways today. Don't need to focus too much on your swing. For a landing on the fairway. It's just gonna run up. The pin's about 145 yards away. Got a 139, which I think is made for this. Little fast, little push. Should straighten it up. Should just hop and stop. Which it does. To be fair, we've been in we've been within ten foot on pretty much every hole. 
Oh yeah, that's great stuff. A par 3 and par 5 finish to the front nine. So, an interesting finish after a lot of par 4s. That, Let's 600. see what these holes entail for you. Six under through seven. No, ticking along nicely. I'm at the six. I say you need to be at at the turn. So we got two free shots at this. Two free holes, really. Ooh, I'm gonna just play this with some spin. And I'm aiming for the left side of this pin. I don't want to know anything about that right hand side, guys. So I know it moves left to right on the green. I was hoping to catch more of that slope. See, it slopes straight down. I was hoping to catch more of that towards the hole. I didn't, but just safer. This one's, this one's a squeaky one. I was going to kick it right, and then it's going to come back. It's going to overturn back, isn't it? That's not bad. Oh, my putting has been pretty good the last week or so I'd say um, I used to class it as world class then since I've had this new control it's gone downhill a bit but it's come back to a pretty top level guys and if you want to know how I how I read these or what I think about because it is mainly just a thought process it's all done on feel I might have got a putting video out there check it out if you are new here guys and you're enjoying the content please do feel free to subscribe and if anyone fancies tapping that like button it is free it costs you nothing and it helps me out immensely please do that so 577 yard par five another wide open fairway you should not be missing fairways today and then we got a what 500 sorry 260 yards shot in oh this is a it's a nice little basin to catch this can we get it in it is the question I need the wind to take me more left than it is. It should kick. Ah, oh, I kick straight. That's going to go right now. Ah, oh, it's a shame that didn't kick left from there. Putting for eagle here. Ah, oh, look at this awkward little nodule. We just missed it. Just the wrong side. Kicked right. Caught the other side of that slope. We were laughing. Now we're in. Well, who knows what's this going to do? Let's go. I should go right now. Oh, it didn't take any of that right on the hill. <gasps> didn't take a jot of it. And looking back now, there is nothing on the hill. Wow. That looked way more awkward from where I was. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Why didn't that take any of the break? My go. swing line is... Look at all that break. I wasn't even aiming... Oh, wow. A three-putt par. A three putt par, John, you're right. What a terrible way to end this front nine. Playing it so well. And then that, a three-putt par, really? It's like, I get the first one. The hill okay, kind of disappeared as I went over it and didn't move the ball at all. But that coming back there with that all that break and it not to take any of it, that's just unlucky. So... Nice wide fairway again, playing up this play. right side because it runs right to left. We've got about 130 yards to go here. Give me 130 in. I got a 125, so touch a D loft on this and a touch of spin, so it sits down. Should be good. A little bit of fast. Kick to the right. And that should sit down around the pin again. And let's get back to playing the sensible golf we were playing. This one's a seven footer. Now, are you going to take the break this time? Or are you just going to stay, stay left? This putt's tracking. I thought it was going to stay out there then. That's okay. Eight, on the eight under through ten. Can't complain. You know, a three putt par when you're putting for an eagle. Okay. Eight under par. That's very rare from me. It's a collector's item. So feel free to like that, guys. <laughs> It also means now we can't catch Stives unless we eagle, because he's at 17, and we're only at 8 through 10. Now this is a nice short par 4 again. Should only be a wedge in. This one's around 135 yards out. I hit the 125 here. 
Bit of life, bit of spent. Well, didn't on, think that would go as far left as it has, but it does kick right. Great work there. That's a great approach. And we are within the 10 feet okay. range again. On the so can't this. say fairer than that right now. Looking pretty good. Oh, you like that one, don't you? I do, John. Two par threes and two par fives in this closing stretch right of seven holes. After that hole. I mean, nine under through 11. Playing some golf, mind. We're playing some golf. Teeing it up now on the 12th. 146. Hmm. So I de-loft this or loft up this. I think I'm going to loft up this. Feels the shot today. I need the wind to play its part here, though. I like the way this is tracking. And it does. Good work there. Great. Shot. And we're still eight feet away. Swing Every hole we've been away. eight feet away. It feels like. Looking good. And that was a nice little birdie. Okay, ten under. I think it's going to be a scoreable week, guys. I mean, they are all quite short, par fours and threes. Which is weird, because the shorter courses, I think, tend to throw the Platinum players more. Um, they set their players up for their you know, powerful drivers, because that Witness, that T-Tots, that Stives, those guys normally shoot 18 to 20 under. Um, but maybe it's the shorter courses just throwing them. Well, you put a nice swing onto that one. So, blast us into the middle of this open fairway once again. Try to stay on that left hand okay, side because of the trees, but the wind's in your favor. 155, 151 is going to be perfect. Slow in the wind should bring me round, but my swing line was a bit awkward there. Yeah, it's not going to come round enough, so I'm going to be outside of the 10 feet range on this one. Here's what you're looking at for birdie also these green speeds throw platinum players as well guys uh, they're used to playing on stupid 187s okay this is a curly one i don't like it it's got to curl a bit more it's than that there. oh glorious Cut. glorious it's a good save there aren't Keep us at 11 under through 13, and we got a par 5 coming up. Come on, is this eagleable? The last one was eagleable, and I managed to 3 putt par it, so. Come on. Getting a look at the 14th hole now. 558 yards into the 7 mile per hour wind. Got to stay on the right hand side of this fairway just because of the trees, which we do. All Keep right. the tree line Into out of your face. Green. I'm going to hit the 258, guys. I'm going to go for it. No, oh, that's going to stay left. I moved it left because of my feet, but then I can't fast it and push it. It's just going to stay out there. Going to give me a chip at it, though, but it's a downhill it's chip, which are never fun. Like. These never stop for me. So let's see what we can do. Put full loft and full spin. When you do full loft and full spin, you can't really make the chips, guys. They just I was just making sure it stopped really. Make sure of the birdie. Left myself the wrong side of that hole. But we birdied it, and that's what you want to do. He looks happy in his Joker trousers. Alright, twelve through fourteen. Highness, Dives, T-Tots, OG Peach, they are all plat players, as is myself, guys, as well. I keep talking about them, guys, but I also play in plat. So, 241, 231 should be good. Should be good for this. The wind and my little bad swing is going to keep me right, sadly. But it's not bad. It was the right club, just the wrong execution. Good luck here. I would... Uh... Love to see you sink this one. It's going to be another drop them. shot on the front, boys, I feel. Unless I can make a really tricky 31 foot putt. Just needs to straighten up now. Uh, not quite. Good effort, though. All right, par putt. Tough, and we're 12 through 15. Let's try and finish at 15 under. Come on. 
Okay, this one is a few mistakes the crept in there. We could have been up with these boys. I'm going to hit this straight up, guys. 300 yards at it. That has got to be good if it's got the legs. Has it got the legs? Kick forward. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That was such a nice strike. I can't believe that didn't quite have the legs. Wait, we've got a backstop here, so let's make sure we get out of this bunker. Oh, I thought I'd hit that too far, but right, nowhere near far enough. And we've left an awkward putt here. The guy didn't even look like he wanted to approach the ball there. He was like, oh, Nelly, what's going on? This is going to be awkward, guys. It's going to go right, and then it should come hard left here. And it does. And that's a good recovery putt. Go. Dropping it in there for Another short par four wasted for us. And what I have noticed is I don't get enough eagles in this game, guys. I don't know why. The short par fours and the short par fives, I always seem to birdie them. I never seem to get eagles. Um, and it's the one thing holding my scoring back, because I think... On a birdie count, I match most Here's of the top boys. Let's see what you can do with it's it. the eagle count where I don't really get any. Which is pretty piss poor, really, for a top level player. Well, I'm going to aim up here and hopefully clear it with the spin I've put on that, guys. But if I don't, I'm hoping the wind pushes me far enough left to kick out. So I do clear it with the spin I put on it, and it should just kick out. It gives us an angle into this screen. I'm going to hit the 231 the and hope it gets up this hill. Oh, too much of a push. Let's go kick right, kick right. I'm not going to kick right, John. It's going to kick left. Okay, here's our third shot. But we have Four a chip at it. Off the lead. We have, I'm going to go for it, guys. I should curl left. Go. Oh, come on. Oh, nice little chip there. And this one is Oof. the bird. That, that took a hard right at the end of my back -back putter. But we're 14 through 17. As I said, if we can get to 15, it's a good round. And sitting at 14 under par. That'll be a highly competitive round in any of the challenge circuits. But just a shame. Just a shame. Okay, that three putt par come back to haunt me. Ball. Par 4 finisher. Again, huge fairway for you to aim at. Try to play for the right-hand side just to avoid any trees being in your eye line. Okay, I'll accept that. Gives you 157 in. Be about 155 yards I got out. a 162, which is going to be perfect. The lead as well. Now, this should be all over this pin. Sit down, which it does. That's a lovely right, approach nice shot. Approach on that one. All right, you've got about six feet here. And that leaves us at the 15 under. So there you go, guys. That is your round one of the challenge circuit this week. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're enjoying this content, please do leave a like. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. I'll be back next week for round one from the challenge circuit then. But good luck out there. Enjoy your rounds, guys. Have fun. 15 under gets you tied six. Not a bad start. Cheers, folks. fun with you today.